California's climate is getting hotter. The average summer temperature in the Golden State, three degrees warmer than they were 125 years ago. More than half that increase since just the 70s. But how much should humans interfere with nature? In tonight's Project Earth, Ann Makovic has an update on a controversial experiment in Alameda involving sea salt meant to cool the climate. The climate is changing, the planet is warming, and we are seeing the impacts. Shrinking glaciers and ice sheets, rising sea levels, and more extreme weather. But while the Earth continues to warm... I have that on my computer. Some climate scientists recently got the cold shoulder. We need to know more about this before you come to our city and start the experiments. In early June, city officials in Alameda blocked the scientists from continuing basic research into an experimental approach that might one day help slow global warming. It involves a device that sprays sea salt particles into the air and along the deck of the USS Hornet, which is in Alameda. In the future, this aerosol might be used to brighten clouds so they can reflect sunlight away from the Earth and temporarily cool the planet. But the scientific evidence is lacking. We want to provide the data to understand how this would affect the climate system. The scientists left disappointed. City officials felt they did the right thing. The line of experimentation is very controversial because of the unintended consequences and other parts of the world. But the city of Alameda cannot stop the rest of the world. Some teams are going full steam ahead without the benefit of the evidence. And that is a problem. No one has control over what people do in different parts of the world at this time. There is no uh, regulation in place. There's no global treaty in place about this technology. Lisa Dilling is an associate chief scientist with the Environmental Defense Fund, or EDF for short. At this point, she says we don't know enough to safely deploy cloud brightening or any other form of solar geoengineering, which is why... We absolutely think now is the time for doing research on the impacts of this technology. The EDF will finance it. The nonprofit will issue grants to teams around the world to better inform governments. We need to have strong scientific understanding before any decision is made about this. That could be a decision not to use this technology in the future. It could be a decision that to use the technology in the future. Back at City Hall, the mayor remains motivated to identify more immediate solutions. Alameda is doing a lot of things to address climate change and global warming. Sea level rise is truly an existential threat to our island community. A threat that requires looking hard at cloud strategies and not just having our heads stuck in them.